She doesn't think she's different, and she probably has the highest self-esteem of anyone you'd ever meet. So I really don't see that she sees it as an issue at all. And how old are you, Chelsea? I just six. six. When, she was, when she was five or six, we tried soccer, and that, that didn't work too well. <laughs> she kept finding trees to sit in the shade. <laughs> and so, so then we, we tried a real basic little gymnastic uh, program, and, and she seemed to like it a lot and tried. Okay, how about, how's that feel? One more? Oh, you bake. Does it feel good? Yeah. All good? Yep. <laughs> Kick some butt? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, have fun. Oh. Once she started with a coach that really treated her like other in gymnasts and she put in the hours, she started improving really rapidly. And every step of the way, we were shocked. I mean, we just never knew she'd take it to the level she has. Up, up, take it, finish, better. Down syndrome is there's there's twenty uh, there's twenty three pairs of chromosomes and the twenty first uh, grouping has three instead of instead of two and so it causes various physical and mental you know disabilities you know fortunately when Chelsea was born she didn't have any of the physical disabilities uh, other than the doctors told us she'd have low muscle tone and may not be able to do it much in the way of athletics and so that's been proven wrong. Yeah, no, the, the initial practices were quite funny because other parents would be horrified that the coach is actually yelling at a, 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 an athlete with Down syndrome. <laughs> and I'd sit there and just start laughing, going, good, get her. <laughs> Treat her like anybody else. <laughs> you have to glide all the way out. It's big. It's big. Big, big. Push up. No, nope, you're not opening. What's wrong? Okay, you got it. You had to go to high bar and do your kip, okay? I've been training Chelsea for two and a half years now. I keep forgetting about her front handspring. She trains like everybody else. She competes just like everybody else. I think Chelsea's gotten this far in gymnastics because she doesn't give up. She goes back, she works hard. She will do something over and over and over just as you ask of her. Her strengths are her floor skills. She loves to perform, she loves to tumble. And bars, when we get her to do her full routines, her bars are pretty strong. A skill that would normally take a gymnast a year would take Chelsea a couple years. Stand up, arms up, don't move your feet, go back. She has that good athlete quality that when you fail, you have a short memory and you just move on to the next thing. That work ethic and that discipline is, you know, integrated through her whole life now, which has been great. Good practice. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Um, we're going to show you some of Chelsea's trophies. They're all, all up, well, most of the bigger ones are up here. So, Chelsea, which one is your favorite trophy? Uh, no. This one is always her favorite trophy. Where did you win this one? Um, uh, Italy. Italy? And what's 
is for your world championship? Oh, yeah. When Chelsea started training with USA Gymnastics, <laughs> she just started getting so much better than the other athletes in Special Olympics. So that's your first world championship, and this is your second. She pretty quickly was the best in Northern California, and then they started having a, a national meet in uh, Atlanta, Georgia for the entire United States. And so we flew there ourselves um, for four straight years and she won the title four, four years in a row. Yeah, I'm a one for a fashion, a A thousand? You like that picture? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How does it make you feel? Uh, happy. How else? And a, a proud. <laughs> <laughs> she has two brothers, They're eight, they were eight and ten when she was born. We actually did not ch know Chelsea was going to have Down syndrome. When she was born, the doctor said something wasn't right and he thought that she had Down syndrome, so that was the first we heard of that. So we were kind of shocked. And somebody told me you're going to get a new floor routine. So have you picked your mu music yet for your new floor routine? Uh, uh yeah. So what's the song going to be? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I thought you were going to do This Is Me. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Did you change your mind again? <laughs> I heard you changed your mind again. What's the song? It's the, from the movie The Showman. The song oh. is this. <laughs> you and The Showman. <laughs> We've tried to treat her as normal as possible and have the same, you know, drive expectations and as our sons, and that seems to seems to have worked. Good. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea first got into modeling when we got an email from a clothing line that asked if Chelsea wanted to do a campaign for them, and it turned out it was H&M. They asked if Chelsea would be willing to fly to Havana, Cuba, which we thought would be great. It turned out to be a wonderful, fun experience. And after that, we got back and we were, Chelsea was invited to walk at New York Fashion Week shortly after that. So that kind of started the whole modeling world for us. You ready for the runway? Uh, yeah. You got it. We at Myra Leanna chose Chelsea because she's a perfect example of a woman who was born with a challenge every day of her life and instead of succumbing to those challenges, she overcame with hard work, dedication. I don't think it's a gimmick to have somebody with disabilities on the catwalk at all. Especially somebody like Chelsea who just, she just brings it. If you were to see this girl at rehearsals, you see kind of the other models kind of checking in on each other, like how am I doing, how am I in comparison with that model. And Chelsea doesn't have that at all. She just goes out there and she is fearless. I think we all have a lot to learn from somebody like Chelsea. She broke the barriers in gymnastics and I think she can do it in 
in the modeling world too. She's a great asset to our team. She has worked well with all the girls and has taught us all a lot.